Hi everybody, my name is Sierra and today I want to do a video on what gear I have purchased so far for my PCT through hike. Um, more specifically, I wanted to talk about my big three because I have those, they are locked down and they are ready to go. The first thing I have, and I don't know if you guys can even see this, but I have my pack. I got the Hyperlite 3400 Wind Rider and it weighs 31 ounces, I believe. And it is so friggin' light. I actually was fortunate enough because I live in Maine, I was able to go to Biddeford where their factory is and I was able to get fitted for one, talk to all the people there about the packs and you know, the benefits and the, the not benefits, or whatever they're called. <laughs> And I was able to basically just like figure out exactly which pack I wanted from them, from their line. And I, like I said, I got sized for one. Um, it is made of the, the Cuban fiber and it's one of the uh, waterproof roll down, you know, tops, which I like this because if I'm going on maybe a shorter hike, I can roll it down and keep it smaller. I also like it because um, let's say it's been a couple days since I've been to town and you know, my food's going and my pack's getting lighter, water's going, I can roll it down and it make it smaller and more compact. One of the things that they did tell me though when I was trying on the packs at the factory is the way that they build the suspension, I guess, is meant for backpacking and through hiking and it's meant to keep the weight close to you because the, the packs that, um, from my understanding, the packs that have the gravity suspension system like the Ospreys, they keep the weight off of you, but when you're trying to balance and when you're in, you know, you're trying to be safe and whatnot, sometimes it's better to have the weight very close to you because it can keep the, the balance for you. So I might have a very, very sweaty back, but chances are my backpack and the way the weight's just distributed won't be a big fault of mine during the hike. I went with the Perea Thermadown 15 Down Sleeping Quilt. Um, this was recommended by Darwin on the Trail here on YouTube, and he put this in one of his ultralight, um, buy this instead of that kind of thing, like some alternatives to buying really expensive um, sleeping quilts and sleeping bags and all of the gear. So I bought this off of his recommendation. So with the sleeping quilt, you gotta get a sleeping pad, and I got the Thermarest something 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 neo something something ultralight something regular sized and it is not the one that is like an inch thick i got the one that's two and a half to three inches thick depending on you know like the air and the how it's distributed in there so i got this one because i'm a side sleeper so side sleepers generally need a thicker sleeping pad as well as a sleeping quilt and then it's easier for side sleepers to sleep I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take a closed foam pad for the desert section. A lot of people do recommend that, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, so if something pricks through my tent and pops my sleeping pad, wouldn't it also be pricking through my tent and like, that's also bad? So like, you know, and also I'm a side sleeper. So how, when I've slept on closed foam pads, it's like not been even like worth it. Like the closed foam pad like has done nothing to like it, they feel like nothing to me. So I know they're not, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably bring this with me um, for the desert section. I like it. It took me like 20 breaths to blow up. I don't think anytime I'll really be like, oh, you can't blow up the sleeping pad. And if that's true, I'll just sleep on the ground, whatever. Um, it's super comfy. I can sleep on my side. I've slept on this like for a couple nights just to try it out. It was very comfy. And the last thing of the big three is the tent. I bought the Light Heart So Long 6, um, which is a smaller company because I kind of, I'm not like a crazy person when it comes to like buy local and everything because obviously, you know, my pack's local, which is awesome, but you can't, not every state has their own, you know, lightweight uh, company. So I got this and it's from Light Heart, which... I had a bunch of conversations with the owners and it was super cool and super personable so that's what I liked about it and I just like this tent because um, I liked how the fly was attached so that way um, 
if it's raining or something, hopefully my tent won't get like super filled with water. <laughs> Uh, the bathtub is 8 inches, which I also liked that. I liked how it had doors on both sides and vestibules on both sides. It has like an air vent going at the top so you can like open up these two side things um, and like air travels through. Um, if I want, if it's good weather, I can easily um, roll up the, I guess like the sides of the tent. And it's like almost 360 degree like clear like no fly so it's like an attached fly but if I don't feel like having a fly attached it almost goes completely away which is super cool um it's so so lightweight it uses trekking poles to set up so I really like that um I got a bunch of like the little accessories I got it seam sealed all of that stuff so this is the um awning pole for the vestibule I also got like a repair kit I got some zipper ties that are like I don't know if they're glow in the dark, but they're bright orange and they're like way easier to see to put onto the zippers. So yeah, so I guess I should backtrack on to how much I paid for these things. This pack I got for $272, which that's absurd for me because I don't need a um a pack cover because it's waterproof. So $272 for an ultralight weight pack. That's nuts. The sleeping pad was about $120. Sleeping quilt, 160. This tent with all of the accessories was just under 300. It was like 297 or something. Sawyer Squeeze, I'm gonna go with the Sawyer Squeeze like every other PCT hiker. So I bought this Rave Power battery. Now this is definitely heavier than other people's batteries that they've purchased. It does something like 13 iPhone charges and if I'm going to be doing videos for the trek here or you know taking photos and listening to music and all that I just I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be in a situation where I couldn't use my phone. Next I got my black diamond spot headlamp. Let's see how it looks on here. Hmm, cool. Um, I was planning on getting it off of Amazon for like 40 or 50 bucks but then REI I think had a Black Friday deal and it was um, like $19.99 plus shipping, so it came to like 25 bucks. And I got it in my color, which you can't tell yet, but is olive. So another really cool thing from Hyperlight is their stuff sacks, and I really, really like their stuff sacks. So this one, I don't remember exactly which which one this is, but right now I have it inside out. And so you stuff it, you put your puffy jacket or whatever you want to put in it, and the inside has this super super soft um fleece material so basically it turns into your pillow so this is obviously inside out so on the inside i have my puppy jacket so hyperlight um their stuff sacks all of their stuff is very very expensive i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say it's budget friendly but they do have discounts um, every couple of months. So that's what's cool. So this stuff sacks originally like $45 and I got it for like 35. And then this is my puffy jacket. It is from LL Bean and it is the women's Prima Loft um, something something. And it has the hood and it's the warmest jacket I've ever owned. It also stuffs into its own pocket. It weighs nine ounces. It is crazy the technology behind this jacket and I love it so so much. I got this road ID and it has my name on it. It says Portland, Maine, USA. It has um, partner and then it has Danielle's phone number. It has brother, it has my brother's phone number and then it has PCT hiker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep this attached to my trail runners. Um, I also got one for Danielle and that way we can just um I don't know, like worst case scenario, we can be identified or, you know, if we're unconscious or I don't know. It's just, it's comforting to have something like this. L. Bean was having a 20% off discount on their clothing and things um, like a week ago. So I guess Black Friday. And I got my pairs of Darn Tough socks. So I wasn't planning on buying anything, but I was planning on buying Darn Tough eventually. And usually... Darn Tough isn't on any sort of discount because, you know, they're not usually. 
So the fact that they were, I was very excited about that. They're from Vermont, so supporting New England business, I like that. So this is like my go-to hiking shirt, and I will bring this. This will probably be like my desert shirt. And this is my EMS, um, it's just like a, uh, um, a wicking shirt. And it's like, I think it's men's, honestly. Let's see. No, it's large, so it's probably women's. Um, but it has like this little collar, it has a corner zip. It's super, super thin. It's super, super soft. I've worn it on most of my hikes through the White Mountains and it's just stayed very well. Uh, EMS can be definitely a hit or a miss. I've returned many a clothing item from EMS, like they're the EMS brand. Um, but I really, really enjoy this shirt and I wear it like normally. Next, I have this um, outdoor research hoodie which I plan to be <clears throat> my sleep shirt. And I know, okay, I know I'm kind of going weird with my hiking clothes, but I've hiked enough that I know what I feel comfortable in. And I think, I think it's important to go out of your comfort zone, especially on a through hike like this. Like obviously I'm not gonna be like putting on like face masks with cucumbers, but I bought this hoodie. It was very, 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 very expensive for a hoodie. It was like 70 bucks, which I think is crazy, but it is the softest material I've like ever felt. Between this and my um, my stuff sack pillow, I love, 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 love this. Next is another thing that I'm going kind of different on, and that is my sleep bottoms. Now most girls go for like thickly lined fleece leggings, but for me personally, after 12 hours, let's say, of hiking and sweating and being gross and being in the rain and being nasty. I do not dream of putting on skin tight leggings. Like I want to air out. So I got these L.L. Bean, um, they're like jogger pajama pants and I've been wearing them because I'm obsessed with them. But they're super tight. They go all the way down to my ankles and they're, they're um, I don't know what fabric this is actually. But they're very, very warm and they go down to my ankles, which doesn't happen a lot because I'm a tall girl. So they go all the way down, but like this area is not super tight, which is nice. So, you know, you can air out and not be all sweaty and like gross all night. I have these pants from um, Mountain Hardware and I am a big fan of jogger hiking pants. Um, they're like my favorite, favorite, favorite. The only thing with these, I'm, I'm definitely going to wear these and these are going to be like my pants. The only thing is they're not drawstring and I really like a hiking pants that's drawstring, especially even at the beginning of the summer, I bought drawstring hiking pants and they're my go-to, but they don't sell them anymore. And what I liked about them is as I lost weight, even just hiking once or twice a week, <laughs> I was able to still wear them. So I don't know what's gonna happen with these because they are, they're not like super big. They're definitely, they're just not tight. They're like loose, you know, they're, they fit comfy. So I just know even after a couple weeks of hiking, like I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna have to like, I, tell, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to finagle them to like fit because they're just gonna not fit, you know, in the, the waist area. This is the last thing I have. It's a bug net. So that is the end of this video. Um, I'll have the links for most of the things down below. And yeah, that's the gear I have so far. See you later.